Hello everyone, really great to be back with you again uh, to give you our next Sunday School story. Uh, okay, so for the past three weeks we've been looking at our verse for the year and we've finished our verse for the year now and we're going to be looking at the book of John. Now we're following the same as what the adults are doing in their Sunday sermons, uh, so you'll be able to ask uh, whoever went to the sermon, you can ask them about the passage as well or listen to a sermon. So we're starting at John chapter 7, but what's happened already? What's happened before that? Well, Jesus has been going around doing lots of miracles. Maybe you could think about some of the miracles that may have been in John. Maybe you could have a flick book, flick back uh, in the book of John to have a look and find those miracles. Well, one of those miracles was healing an official son, healing a man at the pool, feeding 5,000 people and walking on water. Those are just some of the miracles that Jesus has already done. And when people saw that Jesus had done these things, they were amazed. They were amazed at these miracles. Now, some people really liked Jesus' miracles and some people really didn't like Jesus' miracles at all. But we'll come to that in a minute. We're going to look at how people see Jesus. Okay, so should we do that together? We do see Jesus. Okay, we're going to look at how some of the people saw Jesus. Okay, but first of all, I want us to think about how we see people. Okay, so when you look at someone and you look at them, do you know what kind of person they are? Do, they, do you know? who they are can you see who they are when you just look at someone if you look at a builder and he's in all his building gear you can see that he's a builder can't you but you don't know anything about that person do you you don't know what's in here you don't know what's in in here you just see that he is a builder so if i said oh that person over there is a builder that means i know him that means i know who he is and what uh, and everything about him that won't be true would it but it's how we see people if we just look at them uh, and see the outside we might see one thing about them but we don't see what's truly who they truly are okay so let me read from our passage so our passage today uh, is from john chapter 7 and the whole passage is from uh, verses 1 to 24, but it's a really long passage, so I'm going to read it all out. But the main section, if you want to look at the main section, will be verses 16 and 17, and that's the verses on the colouring sheet as well. So, um, Jesus is travelling around Galilee, um, and it's coming up to a very special feast uh, in the Jewish calendar, the Feast of Shelters, okay, so it's just a special uh, celebration that they have. Um, now Jesus was with his brothers and his brothers had seen all the miracles that he had done uh, and they said you shouldn't leave here and go, you should leave here and go to Judea uh, because then you can show everyone there all the miracles that you did. So the brothers had seen Jesus doing all these miracles but did they really know him? They didn't really know him, did they? They thought they did. But really, they saw him as a miracle worker. Jesus, the miracle worker, who just goes around healing people, doing wonderful things. But that's all he is. That's all they could see of who Jesus was. Uh, we can already see opposition coming up to Jesus, can't we? Okay, so we've already talked about some people who like him his miracles and some people not liking his miracles. Now, people really liked Jesus for his miracles because it was great. He was healing people uh, uh, and doing all these wonderful things for people. Those religious leaders who didn't like Jesus' miracles um, didn't like them because Jesus was putting them himself above them. They thought they were the best. They thought they were really good and were doing all the good things and really important and they didn't like this new person coming in 
being really um, powerful. They thought he would steal their power from them. But uh, there was a large crowd uh, of people uh, when Jesus came, eventually came to Judea to this uh, feast, uh, to this celebration. There was a large crowd there and they were all whispering to each other, whispering about Jesus, what they'd seen and what they heard. Uh, and some people would say, he is a good man. He is a good man. Uh, and others said, no, he fools people. He's a trickster. But no one was brave enough to talk openly about Jesus because they're afraid. So there's lots of different people thinking they know Jesus, thinking they can see who Jesus is. Now, Jesus went into the temple and started to teach. He started to teach them about God. And the Jewish people, the Jewish leaders and the people there said, uh, this man has never studied in school. How can he learn so much? They were amazed at what he was saying. But they were amazed as in, how? How dare he say he knows all this and knows all that, yet he hasn't even studied the scriptures like we have. They didn't like what Jesus was saying. They didn't like Jesus putting himself, seeming to put himself above, above others with his knowledge. Well, the religious leaders just thought he was a troublemaker to be got rid of. They wanted to get rid of him. So Jesus' brothers thought he was just a miracle worker and these religious leaders just thought he was a troublemaker. But Jesus replied to them, the things I teach are not my own. My teaching comes from him who sent me. Who's that? That's God. If anyone chooses to do what God wants, then he will know that my teaching comes from God and he will know my teaching is not my own. So Jesus' brothers and the religious leaders didn't see who Jesus was. Jesus said, he's from God. He said, I am from God. God has sent me and I am teaching. He was teaching everyone about God, wasn't he? But they just saw him as a miracle worker or a troublemaker. But we should see Jesus as God's son, sent by God to tell the world about him. And if we see that and know that, then we know that we must follow him. So when we think of Jesus, if we just think about, mm, yeah, he did loads of amazing miracles, that's really good. Or if we just thought he caused a lot of trouble we just think about him like that, we don't really see who Jesus is. So we need to see that Jesus is God's son sent by God to tell the world about him. So we're going to hear more from the book of John next week. Um, but for now, let me pray. Dear God, thank you so much um, that you sent your son Jesus to tell the world about you and to die for us. Please help us to really see and really know who Jesus is, to not just look at the outside and see him as a miracle worker or a troublemaker like those people in the story. Help us to really see that he came to tell everyone about you. Amen. I hope you have a really good rest of your Sunday. Bye.